Here are three reasons that most people struggle with their fitness goals and how to overcome each. Hi, my name is Jay Williams of Hale Fitness, where we help you get strong and lose weight. We have worked with over 10,000 people. And one of the questions we always ask once people tell us their goals is on a scale of one to 10, how important is this goal to you? And a lot of people will say eight, nine, or 10. But when it comes time to actually take the action, that's when the excuses come out. Oh, I don't have time for this. Oh, I'm not sure if I have the budget. Oh, you know, I gotta talk to my wife. Oh, I don't know if this is dangerous. Most of the time, these are the things that have stopped them in the past. And if they don't make some sort of change, it's gonna stop them again in the future. After working with 10,000 people, here are the three things that we find most people struggle with. Number one, most people just don't know what to do. They don't know what the best workout is, what the best diet to follow, what's the best gym to go to. They just don't know what to do. And as a result, they just end up trying a bunch of things. You know, I go to the 24 hour fitness and just do a little cardio, then do a little weightlifting, and they just kind of do whatever they find on the internet, or they just watch other people in the gym and just do what they do. And it becomes about their experience of the workout, not necessarily their goal. The solution to this, first, you have to set a specific goal. So losing 15 pounds or running a mile without stopping is much, much better than saying, I wanna get fit. Because if your goal is to lose 15 pounds, then there's a step-by-step -step method to get there. If your goal is to get fit, well, you can just do one burpee and then you're fitter than you were one burpee ago. So it's amorphous, so you'll, therefore you're never gonna achieve it. Once you have a specific goal, then you find a program that will help you achieve that specific goal. So you can search the internet for how do I lose 15 pounds? Or how do I run a mile without stopping? Or you can go check out one of these videos here. There's a multitude of different resources that you can find. There are millions of people that have solved this problem before. So all you gotta do is figure out what they did and copy it. Once you have a goal and then a plan, all you need is to focus on it for six, eight, 12 weeks and don't worry about anything else. If you just focus on that one thing, then you would achieve it. If this is the only thing that matters to you, then you will make it happen. And that leads us to problem number two. Most people are not willing to give anything up to achieve their goal. Here's the truth. If you want something that you don't have right now, you are going to have to change something about what you're doing now in order to get it. So if you're not willing to give up your morning croissant or your evening glass of wine and your goal is to lose 15 pounds, you're probably not gonna get there. We've seen it done, it is possible, but you're probably gonna have to give something else up if you wanna keep those two things. If you're not willing to leave work early or get up early in the morning to do a workout, you're probably not gonna get to where you wanna be. Maybe you're a caretaker for someone or you have kids and you have to move some things around in order to make time for yourself. Look, if you're not willing to sacrifice some of that time, you're probably not gonna get to your goal. And what we see happen is that people will say they want something, but they're not even willing to make minor changes to make it happen. So here's the solution. Before you decide to embark on any fitness journey, write down a list of all the things that you are willing to give up to achieve your goal. And then circle the top three that would make the biggest difference to you getting to your goal and give them up. If you're not willing to do that, don't take the journey. The third reason people don't get to their goal, some sort of fear. Maybe they've tried something in the past and they're afraid that it's not gonna work again this time. Maybe they're afraid that they might get hurt. Maybe they're afraid that they might develop some sort of disorder if they make a change to their diet. Maybe you just don't wanna feel some sort of discomfort. Maybe getting on the scale is something that scares you. Or you don't wanna lift weights because it's gonna make you bulky. Here's two things I would do to overcome fear. First, ask yourself, what if the worst case scenario actually happened? What if you started the program and you didn't stick with it and you failed? Think about it. What if your worst fear came true? Could you recover from it? Would it be the end of the world for you? Once you've envisioned that scenario, then ask yourself, what would cause that fear to come true? And then come up with a plan to overcome those obstacles. Second thing I would do to overcome fear is to just dip your toe in. Just look at it as a 10 day experiment. Try it for 10 days, go all in, do everything that the program asks you to do, and then if you hate it, just quit. If you made some progress, then stick with it for 30 days so you can see real progress. So you don't have to commit to doing this stuff forever. Just commit to doing it for a short amount of time, see if you get some results, see if you like it, and then stick with it for the long term if it's something that you wanna continue doing. One of my favorite ways to approach this is using the 10, 30, 100 rule and I made a video about it, go check it out over here. Thanks for watching this video. 
Do us a favor if you liked it, hit the like button and we'll see you in the next one.